Have you been studying English for a long time? You struggle to speak English? You wish to speak like natives? You're shy to speak English to foreigners? You really need to speak and not to listen to people who already speak English? If you want to make all your dreams true, we can help you in this video. Welcome to my channel, I English. In case you see me for first time, my name is Adam. We believe your English is good, but when you visit an English country, you wonder why you don't understand people over there. You ask if they really speak too fast. You may think they don't use grammar when they chat. I suppose you find it difficult to understand their English that they use informal English that you didn't probably learn in school. Let's listen and speak. Shattered. Shattered means tired. Say with me, I am shattered. If you won't say it like native speakers, you can say, I am shattered. Yeah, T is silent here. We call this in phonetics glottal T. Say it again, I am shattered. Say with me, she's shattered. He seems shattered. We're shattered. They seem shattered. Now tell me what you can say if I tell you, let's play. Oh yeah, you can say, sorry, I'm shattered. What about if I ask you this? Why they can't play with us? Oh yeah, you can say they seem shattered. Remember that you can say they seem tired. Housework. Housework means cleaning and cooking. Say with me, I do the housework. Repeat with me. He does the housework. You do the housework. She does the housework. We do the housework. And now, if I ask you this question, what you would say? What you doing? Good. You can say, I do the housework. Another question, why do you seem shattered? Well done. I do the housework. Hang out. Hang out means to go out with friends. Say with me, let's hang out. Repeat with me, you'll hang out. We'll hang out. I want to hang out. They hang out. She hung out yesterday. And now, try to answer these questions. What shall we do now? Yeah, you can say, let's hang out. Another question, what do you do at weekends? You can say, I hang out with friends. Repeat and speak. Choose. Choose means to select. Say with me. Choose the correct answer. Repeat with me. I choose. She'll choose. They choose. We choose, he'll choose, you can choose. Well done. And now, can you answer this question? What would you like, coffee or tea? 
Yeah, I choose T. Another question. What did they choose? They choose coffee. Good job. Buy. Buy means to pay money to get something. Now repeat and speak. Say with me. I'll buy. He'll buy. You can buy. She wanna buy. They'd buy. Good job. Repeat and speak. Can you answer this question? What would you do if you had money? Another question. What do you want to buy? Ring. Ring means a piece of jewelry worn on a finger. Now, repeat and speak. Say with me, I want to buy a ring. Repeat with me again. Do you like my ring? She want to buy a ring. He want to buy a ring. We want to buy a ring. They want to buy a ring. Repeat and speak. Can you answer these questions? What shall I buy to mom? Why are in the mall? Go. Go means to move from one place to another. Repeat and speak. Say with me. I go to school. Repeat with me. He'll go downstairs. We'll go downstairs. Can you go there? We'd go there. She went to school yesterday. Repeat and speak. And now, can you answer these questions? Answer and speak. Where do you go? Yeah, you can say, I go to school. You can say, I go to the club. Another question. Where does she go every day? Yeah, she goes to school. Feel bored. Feel bored means having nothing to do. Repeat and speak. Say with me. I feel bored. Repeat with me. He feels bored. She feels bored. Do you feel bored? We feel bored. They feel bored. Repeat and speak. Answer and speak. What's wrong? All right. Yeah, you can say, I feel bored. Another question. Why are you sitting doing nothing? Hmm. I feel bored. Pick up. Pick somebody up means to take somebody in your car. Repeat and speak. Say with me. Can you pick me up? Repeat with me. I'll pick you up. She'll pick her up. Pick him up. We'd pick you up. He'll pick us up. Answer and speak. Why are you here? Another question. I messed the boss and don't know what to do. 
Yeah, you can say, I will pick you up. Don't worry. Let us speak English. Listen and complete. In this section, try to remember the new words you learn in this lesson. Repeat and complete. He is. Let's do the. Let's. With friends. I want repeat and complete I wanna and you should I wanna buy do you have let's the cinema I have nothing to do. I feel. Do you want anything to? Let's. My granddaughter. Repeat and complete. Try to remember the new words you learn in this lesson. Let's learn some idioms, shall we? Idiom means. A kind of language and grammar used by particular people at a particular time or place. Friends usually greet one another by saying how are you. In formal English, we don't usually say how are you, but we say, Hey, what's up, May? I said May. The sound of letter T is silent. We call it in phonetics glottal T. Repeat after me again. Hey, what's up, May? Not having enough money. We have some other ways to say that you don't have enough money. You can say, I can't afford lunch today. I'm short of cash. I'm broke. I'm skint. I don't have a bean. The wolf is at my door. I'm poor as a church mouse. But remember, these are ways used by British people. In other words, this is informal British English. Select what you find easy. And remember that you also can say, I don't have enough money. It'd be very expensive. We have another way to say it'd cost an arm and leg. Remember, this is informal English used by British people. Let's speak English. Listen and complete. Hey, what's up? You're right. Why didn't you come yesterday? I'm quiet. Busy doing the what happened yesterday? I'll say again and you speak to me. Hey, what's up? You're right. Why you didn't come yesterday? Nothing. We just hung out. My friend asked me to choose a present to her mom. And what you? Her to do. I'll say again and you speak to me. Nothing we just hung out. My friend asked me to choose a present to her mom. For my money I told her to buy a ring but the wolves at her door. Oh yeah, I did. So what? She. I'll sit again and you speak to me. For my money, I told her to buy a ring, but the walls at her door.
She got her perfume. Nice one, then where did you? I'll say it again, and you speak to me. She got her perfume. Nothing, it was late, so we went home. All right, are you busy today? I really feel and want to hang out. I'll sit again, and you speak to me. Nothing, it was late, so we went home. No worries, let's eat out later. All right, can you? I don't have a car today. I'll say it again, and you speak to me. No worries, let's eat out later. No worries, when? Around. All right, see ya. I'll say it again. And you speak to me. No worries, when? All right, see ya. Hey, what's up? You're right. Why you didn't come yesterday? I'm quite busy doing the what happened yesterday. I'll say again and you speak to me. Hey, what's up? You're right. Why you didn't come yesterday? Nothing. We just hung out. My friend asked me to choose a present to her mom. And what you heard to do. I'll say again and you speak to me. Nothing we just hung out. My friend asked me to choose a present to her mom. For my money I told her to buy a ring but the wolves at her door. Oh yeah, it did. So what she, I'll sit again and you speak to me. For my money I told her to buy a ring but the walls at her door. She got her perfume. Nice one, then where did you? I'll say it again. And you speak to me. She got her perfume. Nothing, it was late, so we went home. All right, are you busy today? I really feel and want to hang out. I'll sit again, and you speak to me. Nothing, it was late, so we went home. No worries, let's eat out later. All right, can you? I don't have a car today. I'll say it again, and you speak to me. No worries, let's eat out later. No worries, when? Around. All right, see ya. I'll say it again. And you speak to me. No worries, when. All right, see ya.